Hi everyone, my name is Mathieu. In this video, I'll show you how to fix small pinholes on carbon fiber parts you've made. So sometimes in my DMs or in the comment sections, I get some requests about how to fix small pinholes. So I'm talking about small pinholes in this video. So not no big repairs. Um, and I'll show you through all the steps how I managed to um, solve these little pinhole problems in my projects. So these parts were made with pre-preg. Um, so these were sanded here and then I noticed some pinholes. Mostly you'll, you will only notice the pinholes after sanding the first layer or while applying the first layer of clear coat. If you want to know how these samples were made, I've made two videos about it a few years ago. Uh, so if you're interested, you can check it out. So I'm mixing some clear, so we will be putting it on. Um, I like to use the same clear that I'll be using for the clear coat as well, just to avoid any compatibility problems uh, later on. So if you like this video during this video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe. We're close to 100,000 subscribers. It would help me a lot. Um, and leave a comment if you're interested or if you have more questions, I'll be happy to answer them. So what we're doing, you're, we are using a Q-tip just to fill all the small pinholes. So this can take a bit of time. This is also one of the reasons I think um, high gloss carbon fiber parts are so expensive. I know like big supercar companies, they spent up to 100 hours sanding and polishing, uh, adding layers of clear coats on top of their uh, cars. So that also is a reason why carbon fiber parts can be so um, expensive. So I'm using a 240 grit first, just to sand the little um, raised parts that we have with the clear coat. And then I finish it off with a 400 grit, just to have an overall um, same finish on the parts before clear coating it. Um, it's also a reason like I like to clear coat at 400 for the first layer. Um, if it's just a respray, I mostly go with a 600 grit. Here are the parts. Mostly I like to bundle all the projects at once. So it's also a reason why you see some other projects coming up uh, later on in, the, in these shots. Um, it's just like a lot of time to clear um, the parts and then uh, clean out the gun. So I mostly like to bundle all projects at one at once. So I'm using a 0.8 nozzle, which uh, this is an acrylic clear coat. Uh, in fact, like the brand isn't the big solution. It's mostly the spray gun and the uh, how good you are at spray painting parts. Uh, I started it and then I get the hang of it and continue learning uh, by videos. So the first layer was applied, it was a pretty heavy coat. So I like to go heavy on the first coat to try to fill most of the pinholes at this point, like the little sanded parts that we had or other, other pinholes that were still uh, missing after the first uh, Q-tip filling. And now we go with a second coat. So I apply two coats here, sometimes three as needed if you want to. Um, so this is a thicker coat after having the first coat on. So you get less chance of runs or it has a better, better chemical bond to each other. This is after sanding them again. So mostly you'll see like some glossy little pinholes. This is not a big problem. This is just because these are still a bit of low spots, not that much, but they haven't been sanded uh, all the way down. So that's where you see like little glossy points being the pinholes. And then with the third coat, we can go quite light just to create a nice and even finish. And then the parts will be ready. So this is just for small parts um, or little small defects that you have. Otherwise you could take some epoxy as well for um, filling like bridging you have in your parts. I might make another video about that if interested. Uh, leave a comment below if you want to know. So these parts or with the finish out of the spray gun. If you want to repeat the process multiple times to get an absolutely good finish, you can do it. Um, no sanding was done on the parts. Here I did some sanding and polishing and then you'll see you get an even better finish without a little bit of orange peel and so on. So if you like this video, make sure to subscribe, leave a like, comment and see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.